finally received more information regarding specialists in Killing Floor 3. In my last video, the most common issue people had with the upcoming title was indeed the new specialist system because it sounded much more restrictive. A majority would have preferred a classic perk system. Speculations about Tripwire trying to give Killing Floor 3 mainstream appeal by turning it into a hero shooter started to surface. There was a lack of further information until now. Fast forward to Gamescom 2024 and we have received a second developer diary of Killing Floor 3. So let's talk about it. And as for people who wanted to see more demonstration of gore in my last video, I'll have clips from the dev diary in the background showcasing as much gore as possible. His body rips in half. If you clicked on this video, you can probably guess the good news about off-perk weapons. So let's briefly go through some other things first. Another common concern was, are characters tied to specialists? Yes, very heavily implied to be so. When the developers discuss Mr. Foster, or in this case, the clone of Mr. Foster, his reference as the commando repeatedly. So he's our commando. I really enjoy playing Mr. Foster or commando. I like using this is probably the worst bit of news to a portion of people who enjoy customization. Customization can be found elsewhere. To be precise, Tripwire is expanding on the weapon upgrading slash attachment system that was kind of there in Killing Floor 2, but abandoned quickly and didn't go beyond some stand upgrades. You can have different magazines, so we've got different types of uh, weapon ammo, we got different types of sights, barrels that will affect the spread, hand grips that can adjust recoil, we even have uh, the ability to change the inner components within the weapon so we can make them shoot faster or slower. Now. Off perk weapons. Confirmed. You can use any weapons regardless of the specialist. Players will have access to Killing Floor 3's entire weapon arsenal, regardless of the specialist they play as. When I play Commando, I like to actually go precision based, and then I'll also pick off perk weapons from Sharpshooter. That way, in the later waves, I'm able to stand toe to toe with the Scrakes and the Flesh Pounds. Whether this has been changed due to the feedback from fans, or PC Gamer had some facts mixed up in their article from June, this is genuinely good news in my opinion. Are you satisfied with the current direction? The return of off-perk weapons? Maybe you're still not happy about characters being tied to specialists? I'd love to read any thoughts you have in the comments and thank you for keeping them civil in the last video. Since you're still here, here's some movement tech from the dev diary like dodging and vaulting. We really can't wait to see what the community does with the specialist off-perking the mod system and skills to come up with stuff that we never even thought of yet. 